You're probably familiar with this game. It was actually used for clickbait on many videos a long time ago, and many people at the time believed this wasn't even real. But it surely is real, and it's a lot closer than we think. Maybe not this year, but I think it's highly likely we see this in the year 2024. Crimson Desert is made by Pearl Abyss Studio with over 400 employees. They've also developed games like Black Desert, but Crimson Desert is by far their most impressive project. Not only graphically, but the combat looks very polished already. And this gameplay is from 2020, so by the time the launch date comes, I assume it'll be a lot more polished than it is currently. Crimson Desert was actually supposed to be an MMORPG title at first, but then the studio revealed that this will be an open world action RPG, with single player being the focus, similar to something like The Witcher or even Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And also, since this is made in a medieval era, expect to see all kinds of weapons from that time. Swords, axes, spears, crossbows, and surprisingly, pistols as well. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting that at first, but I'm sure it'll have a positive impact on the combat. What we do know is that the combat is going to be very advanced. Depending on your weapons, there will be different moves, and you can even grab your enemies and launch them in the air, or tackle them, and then from the looks of it, there will be even kicking as well. Similar to games that have kind of like an MMA background, like Sleeping Dogs for example. My favorite aspect I have to say is the fact that you can grab your opponents and use them as a shield to protect yourself against any attacks that come your way. Yet another aspect of this game that blows my mind are the enemies themselves. Expect to see human enemies from the era as well as cyclopes, werewolves, dragons, and just all kinds of mystical monsters. And the boss fights on this will certainly be difficult, but will they be as difficult as the Dark Souls series? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So now that we know the combat and the enemies are very impressive, the next aspect that tops that are the landscapes and structures. Usually when it comes to playing an open world game like this, we want to know, is there any value as far as exploration goes? And so far, there are many locations in sight that lead me towards a positive conclusion on that. As the main character, Macduff, you will go through many spots in this big scale environment castles, villages, deserts, mountains, and big landscapes, and in every one of those you will encounter wildlife. From bears to wolves, and also horses. I mean, this game is the total package you would want from an open world game taking place in a medieval time. This is by far the closest thing we have to something like The Witcher 4 until that actually releases. Crimson Desert was supposed to be out in 2021, but it never made it. It wasn't until recently that we've been getting more details showing that this may be within two years of release. I honestly don't see this launching this year because of how ambitious it is, but next year could be a probable date and when it comes, Crimson Desert will thankfully be on all platforms. Except Switch obviously, which wouldn't be able to run this regardless of how many downgrades they do. And talking about downgrades, what are the possibilities this launches and looks exactly like this? Because as we know, there are a lot of deception with titles and I just hope this doesn't brutally lose quality once it actually comes out. I mean, the PS5 and Xbox Series X should be able to handle these graphics with no problems, but I guess we'll have to wait to find out. Regardless, thanks a lot for stopping by and for now I'm going to see if there's any more interesting games coming out.